Cochem, Germany. Accident in the castle. Me and my husband Charlie thought that the town of Cochem in Germany belonged in a children's story or a fairy tale. It was amazingly beautiful. We went to Germany on a plane from London Stansted Airport to Frankfurt Han Airport. It was late in the evening when our plane landed, so we stayed in the Fortuna Hotel nearby and slept a little. It had very pretty red flowers on the balcony above the front doors. The next morning, we were ready to go to Kojem. We hired a car and drove to the village. It took about 45 minutes to drive to Kojem, and we saw the huge Mosel River to our left as we drove. We were next to the river for half of our journey, and we crossed over the river on a long flat bridge. The river was on our right when we arrived in Kojem. We parked our rental car next to some tall, fashionable red houses in a car park. Charlie was happy as soon as he left the car because he could see Kochem Castle above us. He thought that the castle was like one from a princess movie and he was so excited to go on a tour. However, we needed to settle into our hotel room first. We were staying in Kochem for a week, so we would be sleeping in a hotel for many nights. We walked down Mosel Promenade towards our hotel, the Hotel Car Muller. It was very sunny and quiet in Kochem. We walked a little, sheltered by some trees, and looked at the Moselle River, which was large and had small white boats going down it. Some of them were not moving and were by the side of the river. Charlie and I watched them for a while, but then we turned to look at the Hotel Carl Muller. It was a big white building with many flags flying on its front wall. There was a French flag, a German flag, a British flag, and many more. We went inside and were given the key for our hotel room. It was a relief to put down all our bags inside the nice hotel room. But Charlie really wanted to see the castle, so we left the hotel room and asked for directions to Cochem Castle. The receptionist told us the way. We left the hotel and turned to our right, going down a thin paved side street called Kirschgasse. It was very narrow, so we had to stop and let people go past us sometimes. We turned left at a cafe called Café Rathaus and made our way up a larger road called Markt. There was a fountain to our right, which was interesting. It had a statue of a horse and two people on top of it, and flowers around the bottom instead of water. When we continued down the road, passing more cafes and takeaways, it turned into Herrenstrasse, and then it became a lot more rural. There were less buildings, and even though we were walking in the same direction, the street became Schlossstrasse. We felt like we had traveled into a different world, but it was only a 10-minute walk. The road curved around, and we continued to walk around an impressive vineyard, going towards the castle. There was a large school to our right, as we kept walking up to the castle. It was later in the day by now, but the sun was still bright and there was no rain, so we were happy. This castle is quiet, Charlie said to me. Yes, it is, I agreed. We walked on the brick path and saw no one else. I saw a large door around a slight curve in the path. I thought that it must be the entrance to the castle. Everyone else was probably inside. They should have been enjoying the sunshine. 
Charlie and I went inside the castle, shutting the large door behind us. All the rooms looked really old, but nothing was broken or dirty. The castle was kept clean and tidy, and the furniture looked amazing. Charlie loved how every room was big and airy, and I liked wandering through the rooms and thinking about who used to live here. It would have been nice to go on a tour and learn more about the castle. I told Charlie this, so we went to look for a member of staff. For a long time, we didn't see anyone. Sometimes, we heard noises, but we walked towards the noises, and they were gone. Sometimes, the noises were like footsteps. Sometimes, the noises were like voices. It was spooky. I didn't know if the castle was haunted or not, but it might have been. Then, we walked around the corner and almost walked into a staff member. Hello, I said. We have been looking for you. We have been looking for you too, the staff member said. The castle is now closed. We appreciate your enthusiasm, but you have to leave. Oh, sorry, we didn't know. We did get a guided tour of the castle, kind of. We were given a private guided tour to the exit. We laughed about it as we walked back into Cochim and decided to try and go around the castle the next morning, after we checked the opening times. Short Stories in English Please subscribe, like, and comment.